part of the charm of the old series, yeah. though, was that it perhaps was a little bit lower budget. Uh, but yeah. he's suggesting there will be more of these to come. Yeah, I think, you know, watching it yesterday, actually, I think it's been got that kind of Hollywood-ness about it now. And, you know, you kind of grit. With Netflix, you kind of watch, want to watch movie after movie. And I think that's why it now stands a perfect, stands alone as a great franchise, which he spoke to me about last night. It's the hope that this is a franchise, that we take it and duplicate more stories and take it slightly bigger, you know. I think that's definitely been the ambition. Uh, it all depends on how people receive the first one. Now, he, he's such a big star and he really held yeah. the, the, the TV series together because if we're honest there were yeah. moments of that which were which were great but also moments which were frankly awful and low budget, <laughs> budget. But, but, but clearly the budget not only um, Idris Elba a huge talent now yeah. but, but a, a great villain as well in Andy, Andy Serkis, Serkis. He's, he's got some great history Andy Serkis is such a lovely man in real life but he always plays these villainous characters but it's because he does such roles with much justice and so much conviction so in the film, he plays a tech millionaire called David Roby, who actually is manipulating and killing people through technology. Um, Idris also spoke about his character last night, and again, he does the role really well, Andy Serkis. And there, and there are a few other new faces and old faces. Yes, Bring there us up are. to speed on, you know, who we'll recognise and who we won't. So, obviously, Andy Serkis, and then also we've got Cynthia Erivo. So she plays the new detective, Adette Rain. So she's like the female loofer in it, and which is, it was quite interesting to see a female actually holding her own and she looked amazing yesterday in the silver Louis Vuitton dress. We've also got a clip of her as well. Nice to be the ki new kid in the house. Yeah. You know, this new house that's been here for a while and I got to be a part of it and it, was, it felt really great. They had the big shoes to fill but I was very um, excited to do it. She was different, very different to anything I've played before, new and, and, and her vibe is different from mine so I really got a kick out of sort of playing this cool woman. Yeah. She says big shoes to fill, and of course yeah. the, the key female character from the TV series mm -hmm. was Alice. Many fans of that will want to know what, what's become I of Alice. Think she's going to come back. She doesn't actually star in this movie, but I think the way it ended, I think definitely there's going to be room for her character she to come back. She didn't die? I thought she died. Well, it was a bit of a cliffhanger, and so we, I think <laughs> there is room for her to come back. But there was other faces, such as DCU Martin Schenk, who came back. He's played by Dermot Crowley, and he, again, he was quite happy, because there's so many scenes that have been filmed in North Way, so he was speaking about oh, really? that. But he was yeah. saying he prefers somewhere hotter, perhaps. Yeah, he would. Maybe Barbados. <laughs> yeah, we've got a clip of it. My favourite location was on a glacier uh, in Iceland at three o'clock in the morning, minus nine degrees. Ooh. Thank you very much. When we shoot the series, it was always shot in winter, and we've always been begging Neil to write us, you know, uh, an episode in Barbados. And hopefully that might happen if there's another movie, we go somewhere warmer. But uh, no, it, it was great this time. We were looked after extremely well and uh, had a lot of fun.